in QGIS, we started with uh, loading in uh, this um, map of the US. We extracted just the Montana um, state. We then turned on the, um, created a, a digital elevation model. And then we use this vector to create a cutout of that. And uh, now we have an SVG, which we pulled from there. And then we have this um, DEM, uh, DEM file as a PNG. Um, let's see. So let's first load this into, um, actually, hold on. We'll try and do it all in Blender. So let's open a Blender. Um, new file, delete. Okay, I'm going to go into here. So we have this is 8900 by 5016. So we're going to go Shift A. We go Shift A. We go Mesh. We go Plane. And then we do 5016. Jeez. 5016 divided by 8500, 0 0.59, 0 0.59. So we do tab, we do SY, 0.59, and now we have our thing. Scale that up to wherever there. Okay, so now we have a plane. Um, Let's first go um, file import SVG and we go to desktop, we have a Montana map and we have this SVG. Okay, we scale that up. Nope. We scale that up. And we um, this is eight oh six by four seven six. So we go eight oh eight oh six four seven six. Right? And then we go um, control A all transforms, okay. And then we go 7G, um, something like that. Okay, good, there we go. Um, G, Z, we'll bring this up a little bit. Okay, and then this one here, this is our vector. We're going to come into here. We're going to give it a an extrude of 0.2 GZ. Okay, there it is. And now we have this shape. Let's pull this up. We have this. Okay. So we're going to make the shader on this. Uh, panel here. So we're going to go to the shading tab. Here we go. Do this one. Okay, first off, let's bring this background color up or down. Um, actually, we'll leave that there. First, let's do um, this. So we have a base color here, right? It's changing colors. There we go. We do shift A and we do image texture. Okay. Now we're going to open, we're going to go here to Montana map, and here's our image. Now we'll do that to our color. Oh, nope, we'll do that to our color. Cool, so there we go, and that lines up perfectly. Um, we're going to do clip, and we're going to do non-color, because we don't need the color. And okay, so we're good there. Um, now.
now we're going to do shift A and we're going to do, um, what am I doing here? I want to do uh, an invert color. Okay, so that's what I want. Also this color, I'm also going to go there, okay. So this does this, and then now we're going to do shift A, we're going to do color ramp. I'm going to move this over. And then the color ramp. Um, wait, what's going on there? Oh, not alpha. We want color into there. There we go. Um, basically we want this to come down to here. And we basically we're making our alpha, um, our alpha map. So there we go. So now our color ramp goes in here. We want this now, to the color to be the alpha. And then we want BSDF to go back to here. Cool, there we go. So we go here, see that that scaling of the vector is right, and now we have this kind of thing. Um, okay, so now we need to create some displacement. So we're gonna do Shift A, do Search, Displacement here. Now we want this original one. We don't want this color ramped inverted one. We want this color here to go into our height. And then our displacement, we want to go here. Now, that doesn't look like it did much, but we're gonna come into here. We're going to go into our material settings here. Scroll down. You'd load the displacement. You'd think you'd go to displacement to mess with the displacement, but we actually come down into settings, change this bump to displacement and bump. Okay, something happened. That's good. Um, GZ, let me move this out of the way. Um, something happened, but really what happened is it it's all working, but it's only we only have one plane. So I'm going to subdivide this and you see now it started to add mountains, right? Um, Right click, subdivide again. Um, here it is. We'll go do, 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 do. Five. We'll go six. We'll go seven. Okay. So it's starting to work. Um, but we need way more geometry than that. So we're going to go into here, add a modifier, and do a subdivision surface. We'll do simple. And then we'll do two, three, four. We'll do five, all right? Now all of a sudden we're at 500 triangles. That's that's great. Um, okay, and it's way too big. So let's turn this down to 0.1. Um, there we go. Now if you can see, here we'll do 0.2, just 0.3 just so you can see what's happening, right? We have that on there. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with that. We're gonna do Shift A. We're gonna now add a light. We're gonna add a sunlight. And come down to here. I like to just bring this up to 10. There we go, we got some real brightness. Um, we are going to go to um, item. And then we're going to make sure sun is um, selected. I'm going to change this over to here, right? This is the sunset because we're going west, so shadows are going west. Um, do something like that. Something like that. Okay. Now we come back into here. Watch the shadows now as I drop these down. The shadows get really dark versus really light. See in here really dark, really light, or am 
much lighter. I'm going to go with the really dark, bring this all the way black down. Um, now go back to the sun, and we're going to change this angle. And watch this shadow here. You can see it's getting really soft. Okay, so that's what we're doing in there. So they're dark shadows, but they're soft. Okay. Um, again, turn that on. Oh, turn that. Well, okay, never mind. Um, you can kind of see what's happening there, but um, cool. So that's our first, and we'll, we'll fix this shadow over here. Um, actually, let's come into here. GZ, bring that up to there. Okay. Now, back into here, we're going to use the same. Remember, this is our initial paint PNG, right? So we're going to do color ramp, shift D. We want a different color ramp up here. And we want to click a bunch of these. And then we want to let me zoom in. Right click, and we want to distribute them evenly. So we have three. Let's do six. Now I'm going to go to um, I have this one here. Yeah, we'll do this. All right, this is the coolers colors.co. Um, I'm going to just copy these. Copy. Um, Okay, so now we have, it's looking cool, right? So we can then tweak these. Like let's say we want some more dark or, um, let's say we want the blue to come down. We want this darker blue to come in a little more. We want a little more orange. All right, we can kind of tweak those. And then a little lighter at the tops. Cool. There we go. All right. So now we go back to layout. So here's what we have. All right. Let's do this one. We'll do a new material. We'll click on this. We'll grab this. And we'll do um, the dark blue. Okay, then we'll click on this guy. We'll do the same thing. We'll do, oh, nope, clicked on the wrong one there. Click on that, get rid of this SVG material, and go to here, okay? Um, again, we can click on one, click on this guy, and we G shift, move it up to there. Um, we go seven, um, oh, so we move this back down. Let's see, this thing is two. So that's, that's what we got there. Okay, so back to the sun. Sorry. Okay, so now we do that back to, let's do there. We do something like that. All right, and there we go. Okay, so now we're going to turn off, we're going to render these out here. Um, let's say like a little darker like that. Okay. So now let's turn off these planes. Oh, jeez. Wrong one. Turn these off. And now we go up here. Um, output and... Um, go here, go camera, G, Z, Z, bring it to right there. Um, times 
2 times 2. And now we have this um, output. So I'm going to render this. Um, hit render image. So that rendered out a couple minutes. Um, let's go over. Oh, now I need to save it. So I go image, save as, desktop, map, and then I call this, um, let's call this render. Um, that's good. And then we'll bring that into um, here. And there it is. Okay. So now we want that shadow. So now we got to go back here. Um, close this, close this and this, or turn this on and on, and then turn this off. Now we do the same thing. Render that out. Yeah. So same thing, image, save as, render shadow. Shadow. Okay. Now bring that into container render shadow. Pop that in there. Hit enter. Move that down a layer. And there we go. Um, geez, hide. Cool. So we have that layer. We have this layer. Um, Now, what else do we need to do here? Oh, a couple other things. Okay, so, um, so let's get this shadow with uh, without this background. We just want the shadow. So let me do that real quick. 